guys so the next stock that we're breaking down for this morning is tesla or ticker symbol tsla okay so i have my lines and graphs already set for you guys this allows us to find our support resistance lines our targets our exits all that good stuff okay uh, let me go over what these lines represent real quick and then we'll dive into where we're at this top line represents our major resistance line that can be tested when we came up here we got rejected here 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 and here ultimately over three times that's how many times we want to test an area at least three or more times um, if we can't in a certain area we can always back test and go further back on the chart so and then after we got rejected here we ultimately pulled back all the way down to our major support line we look left underneath when it was uh before it was support it was working as resistance and uh, you can see that we got rejected here and here ultimately we came up and bounced off of our what used to be resistance is now a floor and bounced off of that area and then ultimately created that upward trend over here we look forward you can see that we bounced off of this area as well so these are both heavily tested areas this middle line don't worry about this line right here let me get rid of two this was representing that downtrend that we were in uh we're far past that as of right now this middle line is just our uh minor resistance so you have different levels of minor and major resistance so you can see that we came up right here got rejected we got rejected right here and then once we came above we were working it as a floor and kind of were chopping around but we bounced over here and then ultimately came back down underneath so as of let's go to where we're as of where we're at right now i apologize uh so pre-market we're 678 we're up almost two percent for the morning yesterday we closed almost down one percent uh our volume is at 228 so it's above that 150 that we like to see you guys so i was telling you that uh once we broke underneath this it's going to work as resistance like i was stating with those lines uh, with us being underneath it now once we come up it's going to have difficulty breaking past this area you can see that when we uh, looked left once we broke past this area it was trying so hard to recreate that breakout and to break past this area ultimately failed you guys pulled back and now it's starting to build a, a little bit of a minor support so i mean if you wanted to get in today uh, I would suggest breaking down to the one hour chart and then going from there on the one hour chart It doesn't look as good that it does on the what, daily because on the daily It looks like it's trying to find its support and work its way back up into this minor resistance to create a breakout uh, <clears throat> However on the one hour It's showing that we're creating this downward trend. We're below the trend line on the one hour on the RSI It looks like we're uh, starting to create uh, This reversal here too. I'm um, gonna go back to the daily so what we want to see you guys is for this to come up and break past this resistance area that being past the $700 level if we can break past the $700 level come up and come back down and retest it as a floor that could be a good entry then have your stop loss on the opposite side maybe underneath these candlestick wicks uh, so your stop loss is going to always be different for everybody so i don't really like to give people an idea or an ideal uh stop loss but anything um underneath your support uh is ideal um it's because everybody risk everybody's going to be risking different amounts so but i always tell you guys give yourself some wiggle room just in case you get tagged out so that that's if we can come up and break past this 700 level and come up and retest that 700 level um more than likely though we'll continue this downward trend and uh hopefully we don't pull all the way back down to our major support line but if we do this is another one of our heavily tested areas at the 597 or 600 level that could be another great entry so if we do pull back down to the 600 level you can catch a maybe a quick bounce if we can bounce from this area or we can catch a reversal in this area so this is oops i didn't mean to grab the whole thing uh there we go uh, but yeah, so those are the two ideal entries that I can give you guys as of right now uh, uh, Getting in at this moment in time um, It wouldn't be the smartest idea because we, we don't have a real clear direction on where we're headed We don't know if we're trying to pull up into this resistance area and even if we do um, And you get in I mean that's gonna be your first target is back up at the $700 level because you don't know if we're gonna break past that or not so and then the other uh, alternative is that you know we we continue this downward trend so you don't know if we're trying to go an upward or downward trend as of right now so we need further confirmation to show who's really in charge but as of right now in my eyes it shows that the buyers are no longer stepping up and that sellers are in charge um however if you guys uh want to wait for this further confirmation that'd be the smartest ideal uh thing you could do so you know if we can break past this resistance great 
and then we can wait for an entry if we pull all the way back down to our support entry uh, support line that's fine we can uh, find an entry there as well so that's that's all I try to do you guys uh, when I create these these videos is to kind of give you an example on exactly what you're looking at I try to give you ideal um, areas to get in and to get out I never want to say that we're going up or down um, however, I just want to give you an idea on exactly what you're looking at. So if this video helped in any type of way, please hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to create this content every single morning for you guys. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading.